Hey guys, this is Froggy2K9, and today I'm bringing you some Call of Duty 4. This gameplay was with a mini Uzi, sleight of hand, stop and power, I believe, and steady aim. Might not have been using stop and power, I'm not sure. I don't know, sleight of hand going that slot? Yeah, okay, let's see. Bomb squad, sleight of hand, and steady aim. That's the one, that's the one. <coughs> anyway, this gameplay just shows a bit, a bit of good gameplay. It's, it's it's not the best of my games, but I, I was actually having fun this game. Really, really, really having fun. This was one of the first games, not the first game, but one of the first games out of the group of games that I played last night. And it was one of the only, it was uh, one of this small group that didn't have hackers and such in it. I was actually glad that you can actually play one or two games without hackers ruining your day. Only one or two, but that's enough for me. I was kind of happy about that. So anyway, I was uh, doing this video, I wanted to do this video, and I'm actually going to be talking about a film this... or oh, it's not a film, it's a series, this game. Uh, I want to talk about The Walking Dead. Now this is one of the best series that I've seen in a long time. It uh, mixes up, mix it up a bit from normal TV series, and it's about zombies. If you didn't know, The Walking Dead is about zombies. Basically, a police officer gets shot, wakes up several, I believe it's like uh, several days later, inside a hospital that's completely abandoned, and. There's a bed outside his door. He has to push it, move it out of the way to get through. Basically, he's walking around the hospital, and there's a door, and the door starts moving, hands start coming out, and it says, Beware, dead inside. At this point, I don't think he still realizes, I don't think he realizes it, but there's zombies all running around, all crazy like so. That's just uh, that's just a little bit of the first of the first of this series, the uh, first one that came out, and I was really getting into that series. I really loved it. It was it was and still is a brilliant series. They're coming out with season two soon. Can't wait for that. And you guys should watch it. FX FX. So if you know, it's just there. The clip sort of uh, skipped a little. Uh, someone sent me a message and. Uh, I, I really, really do hate these messages. Do you want 10th Prestige? No, I do not. No, I do not want it. Leave me alone. God damn. Anyway, you can actually send those messages. You just uh, take a screenshot. Uh, next I do. I take a screenshot of those messages. And I send them to Microsoft. And I also send them to Treyarch and Activision. Well, sorry, not Treyarch. This one will be Infinity Ward, but I've got loads of 15 prestige messages from from uh, COD 5 and from uh, Black Ops. Sorry, I'm getting my games messed up now. I got loads of 15s from uh, Black Ops, loads of 10s from uh, Call of Duty 5. I, I screenshot them and send them to the uh, the maker of the game, the publisher, and I also send them to Microsoft. Microsoft can do a lot when it comes to that as well, because to do that, they need to hack into their system. So, obviously, they're hacking into the Xbox. Now, even if they're not hacking into the Xbox itself, all these games are built upon Microsoft. Are built upon Microsoft's base program. So, you need to crack the program to get into it. They're the ones who create the encryption data for their USBs and their hard drives and such. And these people mess around with their hard drives, mess around with their USBs. Sometimes they're even messing around with their motherboard. Uh, sometimes it's the disk drive. There's loads of ways that they do it, but the fact that they do it, I screenshot it and send it out. So, just a heads up to anyone out there who wants to send me 10th prestige messages or 15th prestige messages saying, do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? I do send those off as proof that you are putting yourself out there as a hacker or a modder or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I know there's a difference, or at least my difference between the two is a hacker is someone, in my opinion, is someone who edits, changes, adds, deletes, or anything like that, anything in that range of things you can do with code or images and stuff. Anyone who messes around with that 
to give himself or herself an unfair advantage in the game. A martyr is someone who can do all that within within the uh, within the confines of changing, editing, stuff like that with code, or adding, deleting, any of that, to add extra gameplay content to the game, such as custom camos, custom maps, stuff like that you can get on the PC. I don't class that as like bad hacks. I class that as good. There's people showing off of their abilities, right? Their abilities. <coughs> to give yourself an unfair advantage, is being a douche. Nothing else. So, with that said, Call of Duty 4, I believe, is not dead. Not dead yet. It could still pull out the rut. You just gotta... You guys, send messages to Infinity Ward. I have. I've sent emails to Infinity Ward, requesting that they fix it. Um, Treyarch did an update for the Call of Duty 5 servers, their servers, on their end. Which prevented some of it, but not all of it. So, request an Infinity Ward. This has been Call of Duty 4, and I've been Froggy2K9. Thank you for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.